What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about a lot of the armor passive changes that are being tested right now in the public test server. I know all of us here on console don't get to go out and test this stuff or anything like that, but I try to keep everyone here on the channel informed if you are a console fan of what's going on in the test server because a lot of these things are going to be implemented into the game very soon and they will affect us. And this is changes to the medium and light armor passives. And I'm about 99% sure this stuff will go through and we will see this in the next update unless there's just some really big problem that kind of happens on PC with these changes. And I don't really expect that. So I'm assuming we're probably going to see this. And that is changes, like I said, to medium and light armor passives. So what's going to happen here, uh, if you're used to wearing, uh, you know, seven medium on your stam character, you know there's some passives there that will give you more weapon crit if you have so many pieces of medium gear equipped. Well, that option there to get that extra weapon crit is being moved over to the light armor side, which means now if you're a person that runs STAM and you run seven pieces of medium, you're going to have to look at maybe running a couple pieces of light if you like that weapon crit bonus from wearing, you know, so much gear. So a lot of mag uh, characters and a lot of STAM characters are going to be changing because of this. The reason a stand character would be changing, if you want that weapon crit, you may have to go to 5 medium, 2 light, or maybe 6 1, something like that, so you can get that extra weapon crit from the light side. The same can be said for magic characters. So now when you go and look into the medium uh, uh, armor tree, the medium agility passive will now give you weapon or spell damage per piece. So if you're a magic character that wears 7 pieces of light gear, and you want some more spell damage added into your build, you may want to go with five pieces of light, two pieces of medium, so you can get that uh, medium agility passive of getting more spell damage. Or you may want to go 6-1. There's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to builds with this update if this goes through, because people are going to like that option to have more spell damage. People are going to like that option to have more crit, uh, you know, within their stam builds, or more, like I said, spell damage within their magic builds. And this is going to make a big change I think in general for hybrid builds because no matter what you're wearing you now have more options as a hybrid build to throw in some medium or light to get these passives for extra damage for spell damage or weapon crit so I'm really curious if you guys like this idea do you like the changes or what they're testing right now kind of on the passive side to vary from you know what you're used to wearing like I said, it's going to make for a lot of changes for builds. If you're a person that likes to theory craft builds, if you're a person that likes to test a lot of stuff like I do, this is going to give you a lot of options of changing up pieces, not just running seven medium or seven light, depending on if you're a stam or mag character. You actually can throw in some other pieces there. Where it used to always be, you know, back years ago, everybody always ran, no matter what you were, you ran five of whatever class you were. So stam or magic, you ran five medium, five light, and you ran one heavy, you know, one light, one heavy, one medium. That was pretty much the way it always was. And that's changed because of, you know, the most recent update we had to armor and the way you have positives and negatives on the light and heavy side anyway. Uh, that kind of changed up what people were doing. So most people were wearing seven light if you were a mag character, seven medium if you were a stam character. But now you're going to have some more options kind of available to you. You actually can go with some light pieces on a stam character to get some more crit, or you could go with some medium pieces on a mag character to get some more spell damage. There's just a lot of options here in general for every build. There's a lot of options, in my opinion, now with this for hybrid builds. And I, like I said, I think this is going to stick. I don't really see this getting changed much. Now, they might change the values of how much, you know, crit you're getting or spell damage you're getting for the pieces. But in general, I think this is going to kind of go through because it seems like Zoss is enjoying kind of mixing it up when it comes to armor and whatever one's wearing and kind of giving people more options, in my opinion, uh, down the road to make some really unique, interesting builds. And I really don't see this as a nerf, in my opinion, or really a buff. I just see it as in something kind of positive for, once again, like I said, people that like to build different kind of odd hybrid classes or people that like to test things out and try to get some crazy damage out of some stuff you wouldn't expect, you know, to kind of get it out of. I think that's what's going to really be the benefit of this. But I'm curious what you guys think, so leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about all these changes. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. And check out everything down in the description, the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.